Okay, all right. Uh, uh, completed our first uh, scrimmage of fall camp. We went to the stadium. Uh, started out with some live field goal, field goal block. I thought it was good. Gave us some good information. Uh, worked quite a few of our guys, uh, specifically offensive line, you know, trying to get some depth to possibly take out some of our guys that, that will be starters. So I thought that was good. Our scrimmage part was right at 100 plays, um, which, which that was by design. Uh, probably about 50-50 on the run-pass ratio. Um, you know, rotated the ones and the twos and threes. Um, you know, defensively, really what stood out to me is our number one defense had a very good day today. And uh, really stood out to me is uh, stopping the run and doing a good job with our run fits, which they've worked extremely hard on that. Offensively, um, our two older guys, uh, uh, we held them out. We really wanted to see the young guys with the ones and the twos and see who that number three guy is. Cam Martin, Malik Miller, C.J. Tolbert got the bulk of the reps uh, with the ones and the twos. Devin Barrett got some work uh, along with Whitlow. But uh, I thought it was really good, you know, uh, to see what they could do and really who could step up because it's been kind of uh, a really close race and just got to start figuring out who's going to get the reps as far as that goes. Our quarterbacks, uh, you know, Jarrett and Sean rotated with the ones and twos. Uh, Malik was with the threes and then came back with uh, with the twos some. And, and I thought all three at, at times uh, did a solid job. But, you know, the good thing for, from my standpoint, it was hot, it was humid. It gave us really a good opportunity to see where we are from a mental toughness standpoint, um, having to push through, see how our body language was. Questions? Do you anticipate KJ and Cameron that way to not be tackled? You know, we hadn't decided that yet. Uh, there's a possibility that will happen. I just, I, you know, we just felt real strong right now that uh, we got good information on those two guys. Uh, they're both healthy right now. Uh, and then the fact, uh, you know, those are the, uh, three other guys are, are very good running backs in their own right and just an opportunity uh, to run behind the first offensive line and, uh, you know, see what they can do and tr truly evaluate them. So I thought that was good. But we'll see moving forward if those guys, you know, if we decide the second scrimmage or even the third scrimmage to, to get them tackled. We hadn't decided that yet. Yes, how, how important are you talking about rotating the offensive line to get – that old film mm -hmm. and then yeah. How important is that? I think it's real important. I mean, it's uh, and there's a lot of rotation today, you know, and it's good for you know Coach Han and Coach Lindsey to to see you know how those guys reacted. Uh, but like I've been saying for a while, I mean, there, there comes a time that you got to start putting the piece of the puzzle and start putting a guy in a specific position, and we're, and we're getting closer to that. I know this scrimmage will will help those guys with that. But uh, there was a lot of mixing and matching and gave a lot of guys, you know, opportunities. Uh, you know, the two fifth-year seniors, they got a lot of reps today. Our young guys got a lot of reps today. So um, it was good from that standpoint. Do you have know, spending time, guys, to Jared or Sean? Do either of them do anything to stand out today? Anything specific? Uh, at times, they both made plays. I mean, I, you know, when you're looking at everything, um, you know, without watching the film, it's hard for me to say. But I think both of them did some good things at times. So, and there's nothing like a scrimmage, okay? There's going to be all kinds of teaching things, down in distance, moving the football, pace, everything that goes with it, communication, uh, situation. So, I know it's going to be really good for both those guys, including Malik and uh, Chip, to all sit down and and just get to thinking like he's thinking. So that's the positive standpoint when you're able to move the ball. Um, you know, in a scrimmage and think quick and react. But I'll say this, all three of them did some good things, but all three of them, you know, have numerous things uh, to work on. That's probably the best way to answer it. Talk about receivers, any of them stand out? Uh, you know, it, it's starting to come a little clear, I'd say. Um, yeah, I know Coach Burns is looking for two deep at each position. Um, really, he's been stressing the, the mental toughness and the physical toughness aspect. And uh, we've had guys respond. And, um, you know, so uh, it, we're, we're getting closer. I mean, I like where that group's at, and I like where Cody has them. And uh, scrimmage today was good. Some guys got some opportunity to show what they could do in one-on-one -on -one situations with the ball in their hand, one-on-one -on -one situations going up for a 50-50 ball. You know, you, you take all those things in, um, you know, when you're evaluating. But, you know, overall, I think they're, they're getting better. You sound like a about the number three running back spot for competition. 
He, he could. No, there, there's no doubt. He got a lot of reps today too. I think you know. I think he got close to ten carries, and uh, they threw him the ball a couple times too. So you know, he's got a skill set. I mean, those other guys too. You know, I thought thought all three of those guys. We got some good information from them. And like I said, there's nothing better than evaluating a guy behind the first offensive line, and, and that way you can truly get a get a good good idea of where they're at. <laughs> Uh, I think he's pl he's played some guard, and I think he's played some tackle. But I mean, you know, right now he's our starting center. He's probably one of the best centers in college football. So, uh, but you know, he's got the flexibility to, you know, him and Braden are kind of the two guys that are kind of the leaders up front. With all the you know the screens and different things that Chip's bringing to this offense, how is, was the timing today between the top two quarterbacks and the receivers under pressure? Uh, I mean, I thought thought they did some good things. Um, you know, like I said, our defense is pretty good too. So, um, you know, they're, they're still learning. And, you know, until you can really get a first-team quarterback and first-team receivers, that's when you really start seeing, you know, a high percentage um, of executed plays and all that. But right now, as far as rotating everybody, you know, I, I, there's some good things. The guys you got on defense, you good last year better than most people expected. When you say it, do you? Well, they're they're as a big picture. They know they know Coach Steele's expectations in the defense. They know their assignments and fits better at this time than they did last last year. But you know, until you actually play another opponent, you know, it's kind of you know hard to tell too much. But I will tell you that they know they know their assignment and and they are competent. So um, you know, we'll, we'll see how. That translates compared to last year because I thought last year's defense was outstanding. Are there any injuries in the scrimmage? Uh, we got some guys banged up, but nothing that won't be a day or two or, or three or something like that. But it was a physical scrimmage, and of course we wanted it to be. And uh, you know, fall camp too is is really about pushing through the little nicks and knacks and and everything that goes with that. And uh, so, uh, but nothing that uh, of any serious. What's that? Marlon Davis. Uh, Marlon did not go. No. Is he expected to return this week? Yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be shortly, a couple of days probably. Without him, this obviously a big chance for Nick Coe. Um, what did you say about him? Yeah, you know, Nick. Uh, you know, he got he got thrown in the fire today. I thought it was really good uh, to see what he can do. I mean, everybody's talked about you know his physical tools, but he's got to go out and do it. And uh, so today was a big day for him. Paul James too. You know, I got a chance to. To get in the mix and do some things too, so uh, you know, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a really good day to, to gather information. Like I told our players, from a coach's standpoint, we probably learned as much or more today than we did all the practices before. You know, it was a pretty basic scrimmage. Now, I mean, the defense didn't do a whole lot of exotic stuff, and the offense didn't either, and that was by design. Um, you know, so I was excited from a defensive standpoint how well they stopped the run, and, and like I, I was saying, like. I mean, our run fits. I'm excited about how the defense works together. They know their assignment, and just the run fits really stood out to me in a pretty good way today. Continue to evaluate what quarterback does. Nick won the job without spring. It took 18 practices and three scrimmages. Jarrett was here in the spring. He's up to 21 practices and four scrimmages. What more questions do you need answered from Jarrett at this point? Well, I mean, he's in a competition, uh, like we talked about, uh, and a lot of it, probably have to do with Sean White. He wasn't able to go through spring. And you got a new offensive coordinator, so it's probably more the other way than it is about having enough information about uh, about Jarrett. So, you know, we're, this scrimmage was big. Um, you know, next Saturday's scrimmage will be big, and then we'll see where we're at. Hindsight being what it is, when did you kind of come to this plan of what you're doing with KJ and Cam that way? Is it, did you feel like they took too many hits and that was no, 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 not at all. That was uh, it was Coach Lindsey and Coach Horton that thought that was best to properly try to evaluate those other guys and know everything, and then move forward with a plan. And the fact that you know they're both healthy now, um, you know they got a good year under their belt of kind of knowing what they what they can do and all that, and what they need to improve on. And then you know when you do your your practice tempo you know you got a lot of information there too so it wasn't anything about anything negative it was just more about those three guys anything else all right thank you guys thank you.